Mark Millis ran NASA's Breakthrough Propulsion Project. One of its long-term goals was to move away from using rockets. The problem with rockets is not that they can't beat gravity, it's the amount of thrust they need to do it. If you think about the Apollo spacecraft, and you imagine here's a Saturn V, um, the very tip of that and then a little bit below that was the actual spacecraft itself. And all the rest of this was the propellant and the rocket fuel. And that's just to the moon. At the Glenn Research Laboratory in Ohio, work is underway to produce new forms of space engines. Ones that really could take us where rockets can't, beyond our solar system. What we have here is a high-powered ion high thruster. And the way it produces thrust, our ions are created inside this ring. And then we establish electrostatic potential that accelerates these ions out and produces large velocities. And what that does is it gives us very efficient production of thrust. This is an ion thruster under test, pouring out a constant stream of charged particles. It's less powerful than a rocket, but capable of accelerating a spacecraft almost indefinitely. These systems are ideal for in space. You know, we operate them purely in space because it's very gentle. You know, the thrust level is low, but over time you can develop much higher velocities than you can with chemical rockets.